like Swift. Do nothing Swift pretty. That is true. That is true. Clap, you people. Clap like you're an audience. And not some assorted employees I dragged in here. Happy Tuesday, everyone. So how was your Valentine's Day? Kat said she spent the night in cuffs. <laughs> well, if the ATF had their way, she could have spent it in jail as well. I get it. <laughs> The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives tweeted a plea to disgruntled exes to share info on former lovers involved in illegal activity. Quote, Valentine's Day can still be fun even if you broke up. Do you have information about a former or current partner involved in illegal activity? Let us know, and we will make sure it's a Valentine's Day to remember. Now, you know that I am a law and order guy. Not the show. That sucks. I mean the real thing, but this creeps me out, mainly because you never want to rely on bitter exes for anything. She or he could call 911 and say you're holed up in a basement with an arsenal larger than the Sin Sinaloa Sounds right. Yeah, cartel and the hip hop awards combined. Whoa. When really, yes, when really you're just eating pizza in your underwear. We call that the deucey. <laughs> anyway, we've actually obtained the first few phone calls to the ATF. ATF, what's your emergency? My wife. She's being erratic. She's drunk, and she's doing arts and crafts. Okay, calm down. Does she have a gun? Yes. She's using it to stick rhinestones everywhere. Okay, sir, that's a hot glue gun. Please hang up. Wait, wait, wait. Um, she also has a van full of ammonium nitrate parked outside Joanne Fabrics? Uh, we're on our way. Awesome, thanks. ATF, what's your emergency? Hi, yes, my husband is acting crazy. Is there alcohol or tobacco involved? No. Are there firearms? Well, he just watched all the Dirty Harry movies, and I'm pretty sure he's about to start John Wick. Keep him where he is. We'll be right there. <laughs> ATF, what's your emergency? My boyfriend left for work, and he's being such a jerk. Are there weapons or contraband in the house? No, I'm by myself. Just me and my bikini. <laughs> Ma'am, you're aware you called the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Oh, I love a man in uniform. I'm just so lonely. Are you lonely? So there's no gun present? I thought maybe you could bring yours. I need the long arm of the law. <laughs> oh boy, I'll, uh, I'll be right over. There you go. Nice one. So yeah, like a drug sniffing Dotson, this won't catch criminals. What's next, starting a fight at the Thanksgiving table to see which one of your relatives is strapped? And we all know snitches get stitches. Martha has that tattooed on her ankle. I do. <laughs> so, look, it was a cute idea, but it helps no one, especially Christina Yuna Lee. She was murdered by a homeless fiend. Talk about a hard right turn. He allegedly stabbed her 40 times after following her into a Chinatown apartment early Sunday. The killer, you already know the drill, living in a shelter because there's no place for the criminally deranged. They should have tried getting him a job as a CNN producer. He had dozens of arrests and was just busted on January 6th but freed on supervised release. Yeah, supervised release. How does that work? Unless that means a cop following this psycho around 24 seven, I don't wanna hear about it anymore because it doesn't work at all. Meanwhile, actual January 6, 2020 defendants weren't even given bail. So this guy's locked up. He finally figured out how to stay arrested, murder someone. That's the bar now for inclusion, which coincidentally is the same bar gangs like MS-13 use for initiation. Because nothing else sticks in a hellscape where felony assault and grand larceny are like ripping off the tag from a mattress. But hey, if only one of the killer's exes had seen the ATF tweet, who knew? We could have tricked him with a Whitman sampler or have his ex make a reservation at Applebee's and then slap the cuffs on him during dessert. But what's the point of having people narc on each other when you don't even lock up the people you already busted? It's the cart before the police horse. Maybe figure out how to keep these monsters behind bars before you figure out clever ways to grab more. If you need to figure this out, just look at what we did five years ago before Democrats screwed this up. Right now, heinous criminals roam like free-range chicken, and progressive DAs hide from the mayhem they cause. No wonder they love mask mandates. I'd wear a mask, too, if I were them. These crimes keep happening, and what follows? Outrage, mostly on Fox. Then it's forgotten. Rinse blood and repeat. Many victims are Asian. When will the Asian leaders who represent them do something big? Creating a Cupid's 1-800 crime line on Valentine's Day is not enough. 
And forget platitudes about stopping Asian hate. Homeless thugs don't read tweets from the mayor's office. It's up to you, Asian groups, because other groups just aren't that into you. There's no Asian Lives Matter group fighting on your behalf. Instead, they judge you as a group they're trying to keep out of college, and they call that anti-racist. And don't expect help from the Dems either. They're literally, they literally doubt that women exist. Hell, AOC just blamed the crime surge on the expired child tax credit. We don't want to say some of the things that are, the, that are obvious, like, gee, the child tax credit just ran out on December 31st, and now people are stealing baby formula. We don't want to have that discussion. We want to say these people are criminals, or we want to talk about people that are violent instead of environments of violence and what we are doing to either contribute or to dismantle that. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what's causing all the smash and grabs, the carjackings, the stabbings. What an ignorant statement. How does she not own at least a dozen cats? <laughs> Actually, these environments of violence weren't so violent before loons like her got into power. And sorry, lady, we talk about this stuff every day. I'd ask where you've been, but we all know, planning trips to Florida. We've talked to the victims' families, we poured over the stats, and so far not one person was beaten to death for baby formula. In fact, the people struggling in this lockdown economy aren't stealing baby formula at all. They're wondering why they're no longer safe on their way home. AOC, these victims aren't ideas or political constructs. These are women who bleed to death when they are stabbed. AOC claimed her life was in danger because of a riot in a building she wasn't even in, but dismisses actual murder as a problem over taxes. What's next? Her critics are sexually frustrated? Christina Yuna Lee wasn't butchered to death over baby formula in an environment of violence. She was a young Asian woman followed to her home where that became an environment of violence that AOC and her side helped create while living in a safe, make-believe, abstract world. If they dusted the murder scene for Prince, they may not have found yours, AOC, but your bad ideas were an accessory. Let's welcome tonight's guest. She's our favorite McCallum, not named Single Malt, host of the story, Martha McCallum. She's been in more locker rooms than athlete's foot. Former NBC sportscaster, Michelle Tafoya. She's like a rake from Home Depot, thin, pointy, and face down in your yard. Fox News contributor, Cat Tip. And he uses a leaf blower to make a salad. My ma massive sidekick and the NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> Michelle, welcome to the show. So happy to have you Thank here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. A fellow golden bear. We're golden bears. Well, you know, I sent my diploma back, so I'm not sure I'm still, I still have claim to that. My <laughs> husband told me, you know, once you send that back, you can't say you graduated from the University of California, Berkeley. And I said, well, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so you have regrets, too. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, from what I remember, it wasn't very good for me, either. You know, we got to talk about this AOC equation. Tax credit, baby form formula, murder. <laughs> I mean, it's so simple. Why didn't we figure this out? She, she might as well have learned that at Cal. But, yes. um, you know, that, that is uh, so bizarre. But... I grapple with every time she speaks because mm -hmm. I ask myself, why do we pay attention to this woman? Mm -hmm. But obviously she gets tons of publicity because she's a master at getting tons of publicity. True. And people do need to respond to some of the insanity she spews. One of the things that I, I read that she said was, the biggest thing that Joe Biden could do right now, the most important thing he could do is forgive student debt. Right. And I'm sitting here thinking, that's the most important thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this was one of the headliners in this piece that yeah, yeah. she did with The New Yorker. So she, she's very off. Yes. And she also said that, you know, Congress is a, I'm allowed to use the SH word, right? Yes. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's in deep yeah. or whatever she's yeah. So, yeah, it's been that way for a long time. She didn't help. No, she made it, she actually makes it worse. She thinks she's above it. She thinks she's above <laughs> Congress. And she lives in this kind of, she lives in an abstract collegiate world, right, where none, like all these practical things and bad things that happen in the world don't really affect her. So she makes these, like, it's definitely baby formula, Martha. It's <laughs> definitely baby formula. Trust it's so me. twisted. How In what world does this woman who represents New York not 
bend over backwards to talk about this woman who was followed Ugh. six flights up yes. by this man who is deranged, who has been arrested, I think, 12 times in the past several years. And why isn't she screaming from the rooftops that yeah. this man should be in jail and protect this young woman, young, beautiful New Yorker like herself, who she apparently has, you know, no affinity right, for. Right, right. Um, or no sympathy for. She's blaming it on baby formula. Apparently, there's some racket that was, you know, wiping yeah. baby formula off the shelves and selling it on the black right. market. She And then she says, you know, the problem is that we ignore the reasons behind things. Yes. She's ignoring all the reasons behind things mm -hmm. and professing to know what's going on. And she, she just obviously doesn't know what's going on in no. either one of these stories. No, it's amazing. Tyrus, I really want to know how you feel about the ATF X's narking story. But if you'd like to touch on the other ones, you're more than welcome. But I have a feeling you have strong feelings about that. Yeah, I had uh, three visits from the <laughs> sheriff this weekend. So uh, a lot of stuff. Yes. So. There were no weapons of mass destruction <laughs> no, in my no. house. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, that was nice, but it was... Uh, the idea to promote not letting it go yes. and to promote stocking <laughs> yes. in the name of the law is about as normal as someone saying to AOC when she says, gee, let's have that conversation <laughs> with a straight face go, yeah, let's do it, go. <laughs> yes. Because you're walking out of that drooling and probably wetting yourself with just the ridiculousness mm -hmm. of her comments. They make no sense, and I think it's by design. Right. How are you a socialist, but you're complaining about how much money you get paid? Yes. It doesn't make sense. It's like she's either she's an evil genius mm -hmm. <laughs> who's doing this for some other crazy reason, or nobody bothered to read the resume at the bottom. And I think a lot of people who voted are going to be uh, have to be looking in the mirror, going, "But she's got a future." She had two vowels in her nickname. Yeah. <laughs> You thought that meant that she had some <laughs> stuff behind it. Yeah, there you go. G. Yeah. G, let's would, have that G, conversation. let's have that conversation, because no one talks about crime. Nobody does. No, no one talks about baby powder. Yes. Well, it's actually, no, baby formula. Baby formula. Uh, no I, one knows better than me, Greg. I, yeah. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? Uh, I once confused the two. Oh, boy, was oh. that embarrassing. Oh, that's probably. Yeah. yeah, you can't. Don't try to put on leather pants with baby formula. <laughs> Right, oh. Kat? Uh. <laughs> Excellent uh, a vo voice work today on the skit. Thank you. Yes, Thank yes. You. Yeah. Do you know that the press secretary, I just found this before the show, said that the rise in violence is because of hate-filled rhetoric and language around the origins of the pandemic. We touched on this. That somehow, like, all these homeless dudes are upset about, at Asian yeah. people over the pandemic. I gotta be honest. I never see them reading. No, you I know? don't. Like, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that that's true. Yeah, I neither. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't. And it was, with AOC, it's one. Of, she's like, not only did she say something that was that ridiculous, but she's like, nobody's talking about yes, this. Yes. And sometimes <laughs> the reason no one's talking about something is because it's dumb. Right. Like it's yeah. not. It's not. There's a reason nobody's saying that. But again, she's not a socialist. She. I always say this. She's not a socialist. She has a French bulldog. Right. That does not exist without cat. That's okay. That's not a rescue. No, okay? that's not a rescue. It's that's an a expensive dog yeah. that is made. They, they don't even have. They don't just have sex with each other. They have to be <laughs> genetically engineered and then C-sections because their heads are too big. That dog does not exist without capitalism. So all you need to do is look at her dog to know she's full. Of yeah. The other oh, thing yeah. too, and we got to move on. I believe every, everything she gets is from a, another person. Like somebody goes, did you hear that all of these things are from baby formula and it's caused by, and, she, and then it goes into her brain. She goes, and then she just spits it out. She hasn't thought about any and of I it. And I can so really like empathize with that, yes. but I'm not in a position of power. Yeah, well, you kind of are. All right. Thanks. Kids yes. Books for kids who don't really, really read good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one's talking about it. Yes. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.